are going to discuss about the new topic that is acute renal failure. Acute renal failure is a sudden reduction in renal function. Kidneys are unable to excrete nitrogenous waste products plus water and electrolyte balance. Oliguria less than 400, non-oliguria, acute renal failure in new needs, 1 ml, the urine output less than 1 ml per kg per hour. Classification, acute versus chronic, pre-renal, renal, post-renal, anuric, oluric and polyuric. Anuric, absence of urine, oliguria less amount of urine poly more amount of urine then acute and chronic the difference between sudden onset in acute rapid reduction in urine output sudden usually reversible tubular cell death and regeneration in chronic progressive not reversible nephron loss 75 percent of function can be lost before it's noticeable then next is Pathogenesis, pre-renal, what happened here, hypovolemia, the fluid volume is low, decreased glomerulonefiltration uh, rate and acute glomerular, glomerular filtration rate is a test used to check how well the kidneys are working and increased ADH. ADH is anti-diuretic hormone also known as, known as vasopressin. Increased aldosterone, oliguria, increased blood urea and creatinine. If hypovolemia is persistent, it continues and for a long time, ATN are there. Acute tubular necrosis is a condition involving the death of tubular epithelial cells that form the renal tubular of the kidney. Then, renal, we have discussed pre-renal phase, then now renal phase, ATN, acute tubular necrosis and renal vasoconstrictions are there, tubular obstructions are there with debris and passive back diffusion of glomerular filtrate. Acute AGN, acute glomerulonephritis of various types and acute interstitial nephritis are there. In post-renal obstruction of urinary tract, acute tubular necrosis and renal parenchymal damage. Then clinical features, oliguria are present, anuria are there, history of vomiting, diarrhea, fever, signs of dehydration, hemorrhage, nephrotoxic agent, weight loss, sorry, weight gain, peripheral edema and hypertension are there. Physical examination. In physical examination, we have to note the rashes are there, SLE, systemic lupus erythro, uh, erythromatosis. It is an autoimmune disease and what happened in this? Immune system of the body mistakenly attacks on the normal cells of the body, right? HSP is the Henoch's conlin purpura. What happened in this inflammation? In this inflammation of the blood vessels of the blood vessels of the skin, joint, bowels, and kidneys are there. Then flank masses, renal vein thrombosis, uremia, anorexia, nausea, hypertension, fits, nausea, vomiting, pulmonary edema, ascites, asterixin, asterixis, and sephropathy are present in patient suffering from acute renal failure. Investigations, complete blood count and systemic examination, blood urea, serum creatinine, urine examination, urine sodium, more than 20 ml equivalent per liter, intrinsic renal failure, urine sodium, less than 10 ml equivalent per liter, pre-renal, C3 level and metabolic acidosis. X-ray abdominal are uh, prescribed by the doctor, IBP, intravenous, Pilogram, it is the radiological procedure used to visualize the organ of the kidney or genitourinary system. MCUC, MCUC actually is a maturating, maturating cystourogram. 
It is also the procedure to investigate investigate the abnormality and the anatomical abnormality and X-ray test. DTPA DTPA is a diethylene triamine pentacetic acid. It is a method to measure the blood flow to the kidney and urinary excretion of the kidney. DMSA is a dimer dimer capto-succinic acid. It is a kind of a scan and radioactive chemically chemicals are used here to create the special picture of the kidney and renal biopsy. Then management, general measures, IV lines and investigations, blood pressure, uh, control the blood pressure, then intake output record, established renal failure, then 10% dextrose initially, then 300 calories restricted per day. Pre-renal, acute renal failure, fluid therapy, severe dehydration, no output, Lasix 2 mg per kg, dopamine infusion to improve renal perfusion, renal failure with fluid overload, no IV fluid, only Lasix 2 doses and peritoneal dialysis if needed. Then management of complications, hyperkalemia, more than 6 milliequivalent per liter. Potassium are more than normal. Then calcium, soda bicarb, glucose plus insulin, K-exhalate, then acidosis, ARF, cataboli catabolism, inability to secrete hydrogen and uh, aminim, ammonia, soda bicarb, hyper, hypocalcemia, calcium gluconate, hyponatremia and fluid overload. Hypertension, nifedipine, IV, nitroprusside, seizures, uremia, hypertension, hypocalcemia, hyponatremia, diazepam, infection, catheterization, dialysis, and antibiotics given to the patient. If anemia, PET cell, and GI bleedings, cymtidin, dialysis, peritoneal use, usually recovery in, uh, for re in recovery phase, and the diuresis given to the patient. Prognosis. First of all, if the causes are recovered, then oliguria more than three weeks, anuria, then pre-renal, pre-renal, HUS, ATN good, uh, HUS actually, hemolytic uremic syndrome, it affects the blood and blood vessels. ATN is acute tubular necrosis, if these kind of things are, comes in normal condition, then prognosis is good. Bilateral cortical, cortical necrosis, bilateral renal vein thrombosis, rapidly progressive. Okay, I hope you have clear with this. Thank you.